Hi, brothers and sisters, everybody. This is Susie. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, evening already, and uh, we are just another day closer to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it certainly does seem like it should be any moment that he could be here. Um, although we don't know for sure that day or hour, we don't know for sure how much more we have to endure until he comes. Uh, we just don't know. We just don't know. But we do know this, that he warned us of what we would see happening before he comes and when we should be looking up. And the times that we're in right now seem to fit what he told us in Luke 21 and Matthew 24 to uh, look up and know our redemption draws nigh when you see wars and rumors of wars and famines and pestilences and all of those things that we see happening now. We have... You know, we see a hopeless world. We have no hope in this world. There is no hope in this world. There really never was. Because the world cannot save us. The world can only uh, give you a temporary pleasure for a season. And, and there is no, no hope in or of this world. Our hope only comes from the Lord. Our blessed hope. Jesus Christ is our blessed hope. And then we, Titus 2.13 Encourage us, encourages us that he is our blessed hope that we're looking up for. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Whether it be for our last breath here in this life or at the time when Jesus comes to snatch us out of here at the rapture. Either way, we should always have our hearts ready and, and know that we are on our way to heaven. Always be sure that every day when you wake up and when you're going to bed at night, make sure that you know that you know that the Redeemer lives in your heart, the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, so you know you're ready when He should call you to come home. And the Bible tells us, two, there's two whosoever's I'm going to point out. There's, there's whosoever in the Bible quite a bit, I'm sure more than twice for sure. But I'm just going to speak of two of them. Romans 10, 13 tells us, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved from your sins. Because Jesus came to this world in the flesh. Jesus is God in the flesh. God manifested himself in the flesh to come to this world and demonstrate his love for us on the cross by going to the cross willingly, paying the price for our sins by shedding his precious blood. He died, he was buried, and three days later he rose again. Hallelujah. And if you believe that, that's the gospel truth about what Jesus did for us. If you believe that, and that he is the Son of God, and that he did that for you, you shall be saved. You are whosoever that shall be saved. If you profess that with your mouth, Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God rose him from the dead, that's Romans 10, verse 9. It tells you you'll be saved. And then there's Revelation 20, verse 15. Whosoever is not written in the Lamb's book of life shall be cast into the lake of fire. I don't wish that on anyone to be cast into the lake of fire. That's hell burning forever and ever for all of eternity. You certainly don't want that. You certainly need to call on Jesus if that is you. You most definitely need to call on him right now. Today, for today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow could be too late. So please don't be a whosoever is going to be cast in the lake of fire for not, for not having your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You need Jesus, and he will bring you the peace that surpasses all understanding, the peace and the joy of knowing that you know him, and the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who will be taking you to heaven because you know Jesus in your heart. You believe in him with all your heart. The gates to heaven will open wide for you. Yes, you. You who think you cannot enter into heaven because you're just too bad, you, you sinned and your sin is so bad that you don't think Jesus will ever forgive you. Oh, yes, he will. That's what the cross is all about. The sins of the world. He died for you, for me, for whosoever shall call upon him to be saved. 
This is a wicked, evil world. If you're part of the wickedness in the sinful nature of the world, all you need to do is repent. Repent means to turn away from your sin and turn to Jesus and put your faith in Him. And you'll no longer be wanting to sin. The devil will no longer have control over you. Sin will no longer have dominion over you. For the wages of sin is death, you know. Yes, sin is not allowed to enter into heaven. That's why you must be cleansed of all unrighteousness. So 1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins to Jesus, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So before it's too late, before you miss the calling of the rapture or you take your last breath in this world, because people die every single day, a lot of people, a whole lot of people die every single day. Before that time comes that you are leaving this world, you've got to know Jesus in your heart. You've got to accept him as your Lord and Savior so you too can enter into heaven. You don't want to go to that real place, that burning lake of fire place that burns with fire and brimstone forever and ever where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth and, and complete and utter darkness. Not a drop of water, no light ever again, never a smile on your face ever again, never a, 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 anyone to talk with, nothing but pure evil surrounding you in the pits of hell. It's a real place, but so is heaven. You have the choice to choose your eternal destination. You and you alone have to choose heaven by accepting Jesus into your heart, believing in him and who he is, what he did for you on the cross, you just simply believe, Jesus says, only believe truly in your heart. Or you don't think it's true. You don't want to believe. You reject Jesus. You know, thanks, that's not for me. Hey, you go ahead though. Everybody's got their thing. Everybody can believe what they want. That's true. But there's only one way to get to heaven. There's only one true God. And the Son of God is Jesus Christ. Again, I tell you, He's God manifested in the flesh. He is the only true God. And unless you surrender to Jesus, repent, turn to Jesus, ask Him to forgive you of your sins, unless you do that, you will end up in the eternal burning lake of fire forever and ever. I hate to tell you that. But more than anything, God wishes that none would perish. God doesn't want you to go to hell. That is why he sent his son. So no one should have to perish. No one. But sadly, the awful truth of it is, wide is the path, Jesus said, that leads to destruction because many there's going on that wide path. Many will reject him and they are on their way to hell right now. And many are already in hell right now burning and screaming in torment. But he also told us, narrow is the way to heaven, and very few there will be that go there thereat. Don't be on that wide path that leads to destruction and hell for all of eternity. Don't destroy your life, your future, with Jesus. Jesus awaits you with his arms stretched wide open to you to come to him. He's saying to you right now, you who don't know Jesus yet, in your heart as your Lord and Savior. He's saying to you, come to me. Come to me and I will give you rest. He's telling you, you can trust him if you'll only believe. You've got to trust him. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding or the world's or anyone else. Lean not on your understanding but in all your ways, acknowledge him, Jesus, and he shall direct your path. It's that simple. Only believe. Only believe. So again, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You'll enter the kingdom of God. Call upon the Lord today. Believe. It's that simple. To be saved. Or... The other horrible whosoever is, whosoever is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, the Lamb of God, that is. Jesus is that Lamb of God. 
Whosoever is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life shall be cast into the lake of fire forever and ever and ever. Please, don't let that be you. Don't be stubborn. Don't let your pride come between you and God. God hates pride in a haughty heart, you know. It tells us that in the book of Proverbs. Look to Jesus for the help you need when you feel hopeless. Look to Jesus to lift you up and bring you hope. He is truly our blessed hope. He is the only hope that you'll ever find. Hope comes from the Lord. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. Tell yourself that. I have to do that all the time. The joy of the Lord is my strength. He will be your joy and bring you strength too. There is a way out from the evil darkness of this world, but you have to believe that that way out is only through Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow truly could be too late. If that spoke to you, then today is your day to call upon the Lord and be saved. And then your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Or, or not, if you reject Him. So call upon the Lord, please. Time is running out. We don't know when, but we know we don't live forever in these bodies. Jesus is calling you home. Come to Jesus. Forever and eternity. Just simply believe. God bless you all. In Jesus' name.